whoa, 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 what is happening? Hold on, pump the brakes. What is going on with this channel? What happened to you? Why are you sailing on someone else's boat? What happened to Shock Mate? Okay, so I've actually done a lot of work on Shock Mate. It'd be nice just to call in, call in a pro. All your questions will be answered in this video. This is a real life update. Hey, ya bums. Before we get into this real life update, I have thought of a way to catch everybody up. We're all gonna get on the same page. Whether you're watching this channel for the very first time or you've been watching for years and years, I got a little segment coming up. I've got a way to get us all on the same page. Now, it, it might be a little painful. Uh, Mom, if you're watching, if, if you've connected with me and you're, you, you know, your friends, you feel a friendship or, you, you know, endearing, you love me, you know, Joel, we love you. You guys, just stick with me. It might get a little bit brutal. It's not going to be too bad, but yeah, I'm going to roast. It's going to be a roast. Uh, I'm going to roast Joel. My name is Joel. Hey, howdy. Hey, how's everybody doing today? All right. That's great. Hey, you guys ever hear about this guy named Joel? He's a self-proclaimed bum on a boat. Yeah, he's a real inspirational character, this guy. What, what happened about a year ago, his fiance, she left him. Uh, and it was brutal and it was sad. And he decided to share everything uh, for anyone who wants to watch. You know, the ugly, pitiful, just very sad details. Okay, so fiance leaves him. He's on his own. He clearly doesn't have a lot of money. You can just kind of tell by the fact that he you know, went to stay with his younger brother, he's sleeping on people's couches, his boat needs a lot of work, and he doesn't seem to have the money to really fix it up. So anyways, his fiance leaves him. He doesn't have a lot of money. And uh, then he decides to become a self-help coach. And, and his videos, he's putting videos out, and he, he, he's like, you know, I think, I think I got something to teach. He's kind of like the goldfish. You guys hear about the goldfish? He, uh, he decided that he wanted to teach sharks how to be ferocious, how to be intimidating. So he, he set up this online uh, website, and he was like, you know, my name's Mr. Goldfish, and uh, I'm teaching classes on how to be very ferocious. You know, I got the three things that you got to remember. You got to have the death stare, the black eyes. You got to just look them with the death stare, and so we'll practice the death stare, and you got to have big gnarly teeth and then size is important you really got to have size that's going to scare scare people so the goldfish you know he was really trying to get sharks to sign up he wanted to inspire them to be super you know ferocious and scary and and to his surprise nobody signed up he's kind of like the uh 110 pound 36 year old i don't know if you guys heard about this guy but he he decided he was going to try to walk on to um, the Arizona Cardinals NFL team. So he really wanted to be a lineman. He believed that he had what it takes. So he went and tried out. Um, somehow they let him in. Uh, everyone gets a chance, you know, no big deal. Let him try. Well, uh, he died. He died in uh, tryouts. He's like the penguin that, that went up to the top of a hill and decided he was gonna teach birds how to fly. And so, you know, that penguin, uh, the penguin's name was Pangy the Penguin. Pangy, he was a real funny guy, but he also thought, you know, he had some things to teach and he was like, listen, birds need to learn how to fly and I'm gonna be the one that teaches them how to fly. Here's the point, I'm in no position to be giving any kind of life advice right now. The truth is, my life at the moment, it's kind of a mess and that's okay, it's fine. Everything is gonna be all right with me and I also know because I've met so many of you. I've met millionaires and billionaires. I've met broke people, met people with day jobs. I've met people who are retired, met people who are working their dream jobs, right? I've met all these people. I got family. I got good friends. And, and I happen to know that all of you guys, to be honest, uh, are living lives that are a little bit a mess as well. I mean, I, I haven't met a person uh, that that's life isn't a little bit of a mess. Let's bring this home, all right? And then let's get on with the update, the real life update. What's going on with Shock Mate? Uh, what's happening with the future of this channel? In an attempt to feel valuable, to not feel worthless, I have 
try to make completely new videos, new content. The old Joel is dead. The old Bums on a Boat is dead. Because obviously that Joel and that channel, that was worthless because look what happened to the poor chap. You know, that's where I've been at. And, I, and I've been unaware of it. And it's taken me a while to work through it. And thanks to you patrons for, for reminding me of some of these, these epic gems, these valuable gifts that I have always had and um, what it is that I have to offer to you. And it's not life advice, definitely. What in the world am I thinking? And sure, uh, dreams are easy, growth is painful, balance is key. That's, you know, that's, I'm going to take that. That's going to be a little um, something I remind myself, put it on my mirror, remember that. Don't worry, it's not going to be in the channel intro anymore. It's not going to be part of this channel. That's going to be for me. I've got a lot of work to do. This isn't a, a self-help channel. What happened was this last year has been pretty tough for me. And I have been getting into a lot of self-help uh, classes. Uh, I've been listening to gurus. I mean, mainly Tony Robbins, Jay Shetty. Those dudes have really helped me a lot. And I've taken some courses, and they've really changed my life. I mean, they've you know they've they've given me some something of value, some way to move forward, some way to grow, and to get out of this funk and this terrible state of being. And and I'm like, wow, those guys, they're doing something now. That. And they're doing it through videos. And so, hey, out of nowhere, I decided that's what I want to do. I, I want to have meaning. I want to be important. I want to. I want my work to be, you know, world changing and life changing. And so without really being conscious of it, I was really trying to make these videos something that they're not. And I lost sight of what Bums on a Boat is, what this channel is, and, and why you would even want to watch it in the first place. Totally got distracted. And, and just in my own head and, you know, going through it. We're all going through it. And I know I'm not the only one that's just trying to figure life out on the fly as it's happening. It's just happening so fast and things are coming at you and you're just like, uh, just make the best call and just send it. And then in hindsight, it's, I think I'm not the only one that looks back and goes, whoa, what, what was I thinking there, Bob? Whoa. Okay, so what is this channel and why have many of you been watching it for years? Some of you for literally seven years you've been watching and supporting and loving it. Why? Okay, there's there's something there. Okay, I finally was able to put my finger on it. If there is anything that I have, if there's anything of, of not even advice, but maybe, okay, we can learn something from Joel. There's something we can learn from. It's how to live authentic. There's no question about it. I have committed to living authentic to myself. I have committed to doing what I feel is best and, and letting what people think I should be doing, letting that go. That's hard to do. Okay, sure. All right, I got that. Not that it's working out for me so well and not that you guys should aspire to do that or do that. I'm not saying that, okay? But I am saying Bums on a Boat has been entertaining because you've been watching a dude who's living authentic for better or worse and sharing it all. That's funny. That's entertaining and even maybe a little inspiring, sure. And the second reason is because... I had a realization before the channel even started, which was don't take yourself too seriously in this life. There, that is what this channel has been. And we've got a, we got away from it, you know, somewhere. It hasn't even been recent. It's been a long time. And it's taken me digging through the dirt and the mire and just, just sending it and putting videos out that are... <sighs> Some of them have been pretty bad, I'm gonna be honest. And that's me but. living up to the name, Yoel Yah. But it's it's taken all of that. No regrets, sent it, here we are. And so moving forward, look, I'm gonna live authentic. I'm gonna remind you guys, don't take yourself too serious. And I'm gonna continue to live this wild, epic adventure. And why is this channel interesting? Because I have chosen to basically live life with reckless abandon, all right? It's, again, why would I give anyone life advice when I have chosen to live life with reckless abandon? Uh, now it's taken a lot of work and there are some gems and some things you can learn from me on this channel because I believe all of us have something of value to offer to other people. I mean, we can all learn from somebody. I mean, everybody can, everybody has something to teach or you, <laughs> Here I go again. See, I'm in this thing. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's just let that go. Maybe maybe I have nothing to teach. I don't know. I'm, I'm letting that go, okay? Because this channel, this channel is it's about 
A dude who's living an unconventional life, who's reminding you not to take yourself too seriously, and many of you think, man, that that's what I should have done. You know, a lot of you, you're sitting in your nice home, and you've got a retirement and a pension, and you've been married a long time. Some of you are still married. Some of you maybe didn't work out, and you're single. You've had kids. You've worked a beautiful, long career. And, and, and some of you, yeah, you're sitting there thinking, that's what I should have done. And you're enjoying watching this dude do make all these different decisions in life. Um, and I'll be honest, over the last uh, couple months, over this episode, I've, I've been, I've been kind of wa- looking at you guys with your retirement and your pensions and your nice house with your AC and your bathtubs and your landlocked life and you're, you know, maybe not so exciting and adventurous, but I've been saying, that's what I should have done. And look, it's okay. I'm okay because I understand that life, it happens to all of us. It comes fast and smacks you right in the face. It doesn't matter if you do all the things right. If you play life by the book, you're still going to have some wild curveballs. I've seen it and I know it's true. So that's why I'm coming clean and it's okay. I'm maybe roasting myself a little bit, but I understand the reality of life is that you could make all the right decisions and things might not work out for you. And so at that point, that's maybe where I come in and remind you, it's going to be all right. You're going to be all right. All the choices you made, they led you to where you're at. And maybe just don't take yourself too seriously. And I think if you've been watching at all, you know that I know what I'm talking about. I know what it feels like to take myself too seriously. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena. Because I've been doing it a lot. And the funny thing is, for many years, I did not, I did not do that. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to revert all the way back to old Joel and say, yes, that's the way to live. No, I've learned a lot. I've grown over this last year. And I'm implementing these things that I've learned. But I'm marrying the two together. It's like not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I don't know if I use that term right, but I've always wanted to use that term. You know, Jordan Peterson says it all the time. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. So, you know, I think I, th- I think I threw the baby out with the bathwater. And it was like, you know, boom, that old Joel, that old channel, kill it. It's dead, worthless, meaningless, hopeless. Let's do a whole new thing. Well, that wasn't true. It wasn't true. Okay, so I think we're on the same page moving forward. The channel the vibes, what's been happening, what's why things got so weird, and now the direction moving forward. Let's get caught up with the boat, with my life. So here's what's been happening. In an attempt to get way ahead on episodes so that I could live a life of abundance and I can do all these things that I wanted to do now with my new and improved self, I have filmed tons of episodes and I'm way ahead. So you guys are somewhere where I'm sailing on my friend's catamaran. It doesn't make any sense. We're having a good time. I'm going to use all seven episodes. I have about seven of them left right now. That's I was going to put one out a week. And I'm, gonna con- I'm just going to condense all of them into like 20 seconds or less. You're going to feel like you went along for the ride. And you're not going to have to sit around for two months to figure out what's going on with Shock Mate and me and what is happening here. Saying goodbye to Carl Steeny. Did we have fun? We did a we lot of cool a blast. stuff. We worked hard. Night swimming, disco balls, hiking, wakeboarding, kayaking, wakeboarding, lobster, sailing at 10 plus knots. It was really good. We had a really good Docking time. Docking in the rain. <laughs> I, I'm not a bad guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you get some there, that's fine. I would uh, back yeah. it down this way, get that's the momentum works. going this way, then yeah. kick it left. Hydraulic steering, if you've never used hydraulic steering, it's a trip. You cannot feel the boat. Well, that was fun. So now I'm so much more clear on the type of videos I want to make, what the content is, who is watching and why. And so that was a good learning experience. And all that content, it it led to this point. But we're just going to put that in the bank and we're, we're moving on. So here we are. We're back on Shock Mate. So what is going on with Shock Mate, and what are your plans moving forward, Joloni? Okay, so I've actually done a lot of work on Shock Mate, and it and it's kind of sad because I worked so hard to get ahead on episodes. You guys just have no idea what's been going on with the boat, and you know that was my strategy then. I have a new strategy now, and it's probably going to change tomorrow. No, I hope not. I think I think this might last a little while. Feels right. Feels good. 
But I've done a lot of work on Shock Mate. I fixed some huge things. So coming up in the, the next episodes, you're gonna see me tackle some big projects with the autopilot. That's huge. It'd be nice just to call in, call in a pro. So I'm just gonna connect this and see, this should just turn. And I do successfully fix the autopilot. And then I sail Shock Mate solo. Yes, I've already sailed Shock Mate solo. Oh. Yikes. All right, so I'm doing about five knots now, a little over five knots. I got a full Genoa now, I let it all out. It was nerve wracking. I had to work through some kinks with the engine, with the autopilot. I install a brand new GPS. I seal up my mast uh, properly and I put, I put some wedges in. So I do some you know, important projects. And then I take Shock Mate out and I sail solo successfully and have the last day is like, oh, it, it all culminated to the last day where I actually had good wind on a beam and a good heading, you know, that was just pleasant, doing good speed, waves weren't blasting over in my face. So what's coming next is gonna be jumping right back into Shock Mate, into project mode. We're preparing Shock Mate to sail. So I got one little bit of information left to share with you and then you are caught up. During the sailing on the Privilege 585, I was being vetted for a possible crewing position. Now the owner, Carl, is a friend of mine and he wanted me to do it, but he was like, look, it's not my choice. I hired a professional captain. I want him to be comfortable with his crew and I don't want to sway him in any way. So you come on the boat, which is a part of why I jumped on that boat. Um, there's other reasons, but it went well. The captain, uh, Captain Tony said, you know what? Yes, I, I am crewing on a delivery from here in Grenada all the way to Dubai. Yes, across the Atlantic, through the Med, through the Suez Canal, down through the Red Sea. It's going to be crazy. Obviously, we're going through a war zone. We're going through pirate territory. We're going through orca whale attack zones. And yeah, yeah, that's going to be an adventure. And the whole idea is to get the boat from here to Dubai and I will be documenting that and I do believe you are you're gonna absolutely love coming along for this sale especially during this time um, in, in the world so this is gonna give me the opportunity to, to film some amazing content to, to, to add to my sea miles to add thousands of miles and experience to my sea miles which will be very handy if I decide to get a captain's license which might be a good idea there, Jolani. So after I sail Shock Mate, uh, which I've already done, I'm currently securing the boat, getting her ready to sit for a little bit while I do this delivery and save up some money, build up some sea miles, some knowledge, get some e epic content, and then we're coming back to Shock Mate. Now, after the last video of me sailing Shock Mate, then I will make a video just talking about the projects I, that I have planned for when I return to Shock Mate. What am I saving up for? What am I working towards? It's very exciting stuff. And the channel is, is kind of is kind of finding its, its, uh, its balance. It's, it's reconnected with the roots, but also also has a connection with this new and improved Jeloni here, this this Joel that's very, very motivated uh, to grow and um, all of that. So thank you for watching and thank you patrons for your feedback, for being honest and being genuine and for, for sticking around through the rough times. All right, we're, we're still maybe in them and there's more to come, but hopefully I feel like things are getting a little bit brighter, a little more fun, maybe entertaining, exciting. So thank you for sticking through the valley of sadness and pitifulness with Joel Oney. I appreciate you guys. There was, you know, a core group of you, many of you, you know, you flaked out. You flaked out. A lot of you YouTube viewers, where have you been? Come on. I mean, yeah, no, I don't blame you. Look, it's been a little depressing, a little confusing, but we're back on track now. We're moving forward. Let's go, baby. Don't take yourself too seriously. Yes, my life is a wreck, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going. This adventure is going to be epic, and I'm going to give you something to watch by my life. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to just keep you on your toes, and I got one life to live, just like all of you. I, I really, truly do want to have something to give to my family, to my friends, and to co the community of cruisers and even beyond, even back where I'm from where my home is. So yes, I, I'm motivated. I'm going to work hard. Does, don't take anything what I'm saying the wrong way.
doesn't mean that I'm not sincere about Bums on a Boat and sincere about selling Shock Mate. It doesn't mean I'm not going to work hard. It just means I'm going to lighten up a little bit. I'm not going to take myself too seriously. I'm going to relax. And I'm going to have fun making these videos, all right? So that you can have fun watching them. And that's all I got for you. I'll see you next week. Let's go, baby. If you haven't subscribed already, now is definitely the time that you want to subscribe, all right? And if you've unsubscribed, all right, fair, fair. But why don't you consider resubscribing now? Why don't you just, I, I think I might know why some of you unsubscribed. Cool, fair. I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers. No pity party here, but I'm just saying, you know, maybe just click it, click it again. These are the tales of Boab. Um. Baby, 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 baby,